Hi, in this video we're gonna learn how to create a similar boat like this. First things first, we know that parts in Roblox can float on water. And we're gonna use it to create our boat. So first you need to do, you take the part and you scale it to the boat size. I will take my reference character for this, R15. So we go to the workspace and we create vehicle seat. We place it somewhere in the middle, here. And then we go to the model and we weld them. If we toggle show welds, it will show the weld we recently created. So for our board to work, we need a motor. We're gonna create a part. We're gonna position this in the center like this. We're gonna create a holder first that will hold our motor. So we place it here somewhere. Then we're gonna duplicate this part and we're gonna move it right here. Scale it up. And we're gonna make a motor holder. Somehow like this and like this. So first we go to the holder part. Let's call it holder. Holder. And let's call it stick. First thing we need to do, we will add the attachment to the holder and we will add the attachment to the stick. We toggle show constraint details and we're gonna move that attachment right to the stick. We select this attachment again. We go to the world C frame and we copy that. Then we go to another attachment and we paste this. So now what we need to do, we need to create a hinge constraint and we will put it to the servo. First we need to select attachment 0 and then we have to select attachment 1. So now we see our hinge constraint. We will select our attachments and we will rotate them that this round thing will point up. Then what we gonna do, we gonna create a motor itself that will apply force to our board. So we duplicate this, we scale it down, we position this thing right at the end and we will rename it to the motor we're gonna delete old attachment and create another one and this attachment we can move a little bit to the wall okay now we create a vector force so we select the attachment and we are gonna make the force on zero and we can also test in which direction we will apply the force for example in our case we will apply the force in this direction on minus z we will put the force to the zero 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 then what we're gonna do Let's create some cosmetics. I'm gonna make this board very simple and you can improve the look of the board by yourself. Okay, the most important part. We go to that stick and we go to the motor and we need to disable can collide, can touch and can quit. We need to disable can collide I also disabled can query and can touch as well, but it's optional. We're gonna create another cosmetic that will be right here. And then we have also to make sure that can collide is turned off because we will not be able to turn our board. So then what we need to do? Okay, we gonna weld this thing right now. We select the motor and then select the stick. We weld it together. Then we select the stick and we select top motor and we welded it together as well. Then what we gonna do? We gonna weld the whole body to the seat as well. We forgot to weld most important thing. We have to select the holder and we have to select the boat and we will weld that together as well. So now if we press run, as you see, our boat is floating right now, but we need to fix something. First thing I would recommend to do is to go to the workspace, search in properties, fluid forces and set them to experimental. Then we have to make sure that the boat has the property fluid forces enabled as well. Okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna select the whole body. Then we go to custom physical properties. We have to click away first, then we open the arrow and we will decrease the density to 0.2. Now, if we will run, you see our boat is floating right now more. To improve it even more we could take the bottom and increase the bottom size. And we could take the motor and maybe we could disable custom physical properties for our motor. Then if we press run you see our boat is floating. Okay I'm gonna make some little adjustments. Now 
Now to the engine part. We have to select the whole model and then we press Ctrl G to put it in the model. Then we're gonna rename it to bot. Then we go to the bot and we will create a script. We have to specify vehicle seat. We can specify bot as well. Then we have to specify local motor. Then we can specify the hinge constraint. Then we have to specify the vector force. And we have to specify the movement direction. As we did before, we have to put this on minus Z. Now we have to do vehicle seed, get property changed, and we will use throttle float first. Connect function, and then we do vector force, force equals move direction multiplied by vehicle seat dot throttle float and we will multiply this by vehicle seat dot uh, max speed and we will multiply this again by vehicle seat dot assembly mass okay now if we sit in our boat and we press forward our boat will be moving but right now we cannot turn it left or right for this we're going into script and we do vehicle seat get property change signal again and we will look for the property steer float we connect the function and then we make hinge constraint dot target angle equals vehicle seat steer float multiply by okay we have to go into hinge constraint and we will enable the limits we will set the lower angle to minus 20 and upper angle to 20 then we will create variable max angle equals hinge constraint upper angle minus hinge constraint lower angle then we will multiply vehicle seat steer float by max angle divided by two okay now we have to go to the hinge constraint then we have to put the server max torque some big value and we are gonna put angular speed to 10. We turn angular responsiveness to 40 and now if we play here, if we turn, you see that the motor is rotating and we can steer our boat. Now let us increase the velocity of the boat, we go to the vehicle seat and we increase the max speed to 100. And if we try now, we got a fully functional boat.